thank you, Dr. Cameron, for inviting us to talk uh, on the role of IMRT in pharmotherapy following lung sparing surgery. So, uh, EPP represents an highly invasive surgical option for mesothelioma and therefore is falling out of favor among some surgeons given the severe perioperative stress, uh, the noticeable complication rate, and the long term decrease in performance status. On the other hand, radical pleurectomy decortication is a lung sparing surgery that includes a macroscopic removal or the pleural layer, along with the pericardium and diaphragm if needed, with the aim to remove all the gross tumor disease. However, after both procedures, residual disease is possibly left behind, and adjuvant radiotherapy is a strategy that has been advocated. Uh, whereas uh, it has been shown that it is feasible to deliver high radiation doses after EPP, um, hemithoracic radiotherapy after proracnoid decortication is limited because of the underlying intact lung. As you can see here in this uh, slide, this is the traditional radiotherapy technique. And so it's very difficult to deliver, to deliver high radiation dose to the chest wall without uh, irradiating the ipsilateral intact lung. And as reported by the authors of the Memorial Sloan Cater in New York, with this approach, the results are not satisfactory. In fact, they reported a median overall survival of uh, only 13 months and a two-year overall survival of 23%. And they wish to underline that the pattern of failure in these patients was local and regional. So helical thermotherapy is a novel technique that allows the delivery of image-guided intensity modulated radiotherapy by using a dynamic delivery in which the gantry, treatment couch, and the multi-leaf collimator leaves are all in motion during treatment, and this results in a highly conformal radiation dose distribution. So this is the core of uh, thermotherapy. Uh, there is on the top uh, the LINAC, and in the bottom, uh, the bin stop and the detector to perform the IGRT. And uh, thermotherapy is based on a slip ring technology. So before the treatment is delivered, a megavolt CT scan is acquired in the region of interest. And then by using a mutual information software or a manual image registration, image guidance is performed. After the IG, uh, the image guidance procedure, IMRT is delivered, uh, resulting in a very high conformal dose distribution. And this uh, is obtained thanks to a special multi-leaf collimator, which remains closed for the majority of the, of the time of the delivering. So we use this uh, novel technique to deliver high radiation doses in mesothelioma patients who underwent lung sparing surgery, including radical pleurectomy decortication or biopsy, with the purpose to assess the safety of this procedure. So the study was conducted with the IRB approval, and between October 08 and February 2011, 28 patients were enrolled in this trial and they went to radical radiotherapy, whereas the remaining seven patients underwent palliative radiation doses. The median age was of uh, 68 uh, years. The majority of patients had a good performance status. Uh, 20 patients underwent to radical pleurectomy decortication and eight patients underwent to biopsy. The majority of the patients were in stage three and uh, 22 patients were not negative. In the pre-radiotherapy PFT, uh, were satisfactory. So the target of radiotherapy, namely the clinical target volume, uh, was represented from the lung apex to the upper abdomen to include all the areas of preoperative pleural surface. And uh, above all, the posterior inferior extent of the target uh, included the insertion of the diaphragm, usually the high OL2 vertebral body. The interlobular pleura were not including, and the ipsilateral mediastinal lymph nodes 
were included only in case of N1 and 2 disease. The ipsilateral pericardium is always including uh, and also the thoracotomy scars. So all the patients underwent to uh, FDG PET CT before radiation therapy. And the boost uh, gross tumor volume was targeted on the area with positive margins or suspect for residual disease, and all the FOCI PET uptake positive. So the boost gross tumor volume was defined together with the nuclear physician. The radiation dose was of 50 gray in 25 fraction to the entire hemithorax, and the simultaneous boost up to 60 gray in 25 fraction was delivered to any FDG avid areas or regional concern for residual disease. So this is a typical dose distribution in which, as you can see in red, there is the prescription dose, and thermotherapy allows the sparing of the intact lung by the prescription dose, and in green is the boost uh, high dose region. Also in these slides, you can see well how the lung, the ipsilateral intact lung is spared by the prescription dose. So physicians evaluated the clinical symptoms uh, at uh, every follow-up visit. And this is the um, therapeutic scheme. 28 patients were enrolled. 10 of those underwent also neoadjuvant chemotherapy and 23 underwent adjuvant chemotherapy. And all patients were treated with a high-dose hemithoracic radiotherapy. So coming to the results, the median follow-up was 19 months, and so all patients had a minimum follow-up of six months, and so they were accessible for acute-related radiation-related toxicity. No patients interrupt the radiotherapy because of toxicity, and so all patients completed the radiotherapy course. So five of the 28 patients, corresponding to 17.8%, experienced a severe respiratory symptoms within five months after radiotherapy. So we had three cases of grade two pneumonitis and two cases of grade three pneumonitis, and no fatal respiratory or rather toxicity was documented. So this is an example of radiation pneumonitis five months after the end of IMRT. And so this is the chest um, CT. And so as you can see, a dense fibrosis in the anterior and the posterior part of the chest wall, and those areas correspond to the, G the boost uh, high dose region area. And so you can see a case here without uh, or minimal lung changes after radiotherapy, and in this picture, severe fibrosis after high dose IMRT. So an interesting data we found is that the um, the contralateral lung V5 was strongly correlated with the risk of uh, pneumonitis. So the V5 is the amount of contralateral lung that received five gray. So those patients without pneumonitis had a, a V5 of 17% versus 33% of patients with pneumonitis. So uh, from this study, we can conclude saying that helical thermotherapy allows the safe delivery of high doses up to 60 gray of radiation to the hemithorax of mesothelioma patient with a lung. And the question whether this therapeutic strategy might have a prognostic impact remains to be answered. So now here, we, we wish to answer to this question. And uh, we here present for the first time our long-term term survival results of radical pleurectomy decortication following, followed up by high doses radiotherapy. So for this analysis, we include only those patients who underwent radical pleurectomy decortication. So these are the clinical characteristics. The majority of the patient had a good performance status. The epithelioid histology was in 18 patients. And 17 patients were not negative, and I wish to underline the fact that 17 out of 20 patients had no gross residual disease after pleurectomy decortication. And also I'd like to stress 
that the median follow-up was of 27 months from surgery. So coming to the survival results, the median overall survival was of 33 months and the two-year and three-year overall survival were 17% and 49% respectively. The median progression-free survival was 90, 29 months with a two and three year PFS of 65 and 46%. The median local regional control was not reached and the two year and three year local regional control were 82% and 59%. The predominant pattern of failure was distant and 35% developed a distant metastasis as the first site of relapse and only three patients developed an isolated local regional recurrence. So I wish to discuss a little bit with this data. Also the uh, author of the Memorial Sloan Catering uh, used this therapeutic approach and they published their survival data recently in the Red Journal. And this table uh, compares the two series, the Memorial Sloan Catering series and the Aviano series. Uh, both theories correspond to 20 patients. At the memorial, they use a reduction dose of 46.8 gray versus 60 gray. The median follow-up from surgery was 18 months. And the median of raw survival reported was 26 months versus 33 months. The two-year raw survival was 53% versus 70%. The three-year of raw survival was not reported. And the pattern of failure was local in the memorial long catering series and distant in our and the radiotherapy mortality was similar. So the first hypothesis to explain this data are, first of all, the radiation dose. We do think that the, high, the radiation dose has a prognostic impact in these patients. Second, the adequate surgery. In fact, the majority of our patients underwent radical surgery with negative gross residual disease. And this, this, this slide um, is only to, um, to be used for the discussion be, because it represents a very preliminary result of our institute. So these are unpublished preliminary data on 64 patients treated with radical tomotherapy. And as you can see, pleurec uh, this is the local regional control, pleurectal medicortications followed by high dose radiotherapy went better than biopsy only patient followed by radiotherapy. And this advantage in, lo in local regional control translates uh, in an uh, overall survival advantage. And the importance of um, obtaining um, a radical surgery without gross residual disease is also shown here because these are pleurectomy decortication patients without gross tumor disease behind versus the biopsy only and the PD with the gross tumor disease. And the third uh, hypothesis is the concern the favorable prognostic factors of our patients. Only two had uh, non-epithelial histology, only three patients had a node positive disease, and also patients who underwent radiotherapy to our department, which is a tertiary referral center for radiotherapy cure of mesothelioma, had surgery elsewhere, does only patients with good performance status might have been referred to us. So we can conclude saying that high dose radiotherapy following radical pleurectomy decortication led to excellent local regional control and survival in mesothelioma patients. And our results and the memorial zone catering results are, can be compared with the results of other American academic center using EPP following by, followed by IMRT. So the, uh, it's important to know that the follow-up uh, is calculated from surgery or from diagnosis, uh, and the median of raw survival was comparable. So our data supports the idea that this approach represents a concrete alternative option to EPP. Thank you for your attention.